Philippe will already watch review. Let's go. What's happening, familia? Welcome back to the channel. And if it's the first time here, my name is Ivan Martinez, otherwise known as Mr. Martinez. On this channel, we talk about men's style, men's lifestyle. We do reviews on watches. We do reviews on everything. So if you're into all that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Now, Philippe already is a relatively new company, at least to me, but I think it is one of those newer companies. It's like uh, followed up by like MVMT, and all those other watches that have come up throughout the years. Now, Philippe already does pride itself at giving a luxury timepiece at a very affordable price. And I think that's what I'm going to really look into during this review because I find that when somebody says that or when a brand says that, they are usually cutting a corner somewhere so we'll definitely find out during this review so in this video we're going to review the okeanos black steel diver watch it's basically the one that i picked out i looked at all of them but this one definitely stuck out for me we'll go over the characteristics and the features and overall whether this watch is worth your money now uh one of the things that i liked about the box was this right here um, it's just basically the front of an Okeanos watch, uh, basically the face, and then of course you'll get the watch, and it'll look like this. And in the box you will also get a little message, <laughs> this says you are awesome, it's actually pretty dope. Um, that's nice, has a little cloth. To basically clean the watch face which I find pretty cool and then uh, you have just your regular old uh, instructions doesn't really have much but instructions are there and then you also have some links uh, just in case you need them I they had to do the opposite I actually had to take some off now this watch originally goes for $269 but right now they are running a sale so it's at $139 but if you also use my code I've been 15 you get 15% off of 139 so it makes it very affordable and you can use my code on top of the sale price so you know the savings are there so make sure you use that code guys so this watch features a case that is uh mineral stainless steel uh the strap material is stainless steel as well moving on this watch is myota 2025 it is a quartz watch though i actually had to look into what myota 2025 was and then once i saw that it was a quartz I said, oh of course they they could put that in there and make it a little bit more understandable for us it is water resistant up to 100 meters but just like everything else that says that it's up to a certain extent don't try it and the case diameter on this is a 42 millimeter I will say that it is a little bit big. Um, I have a very small wrist, so having watches at like 42 millimeters just look a little bit too big on my wrist. So one of the things that I would say that Filippo already can improve on or maybe add is just having uh, different sizes maybe. Maybe have like a 38, I think that would have looked way better on my wrist. Um, and then for people that have bigger wrists, maybe they would have a bigger option. Now the glass on the watch is sapphire coated mineral which I find very impressive because you don't really find a lot of watch brands at this price point have sapphire mineral glass so that's kudos to them. Now the engravings are something that I really admire about Philippe Loretti. They really pride themselves on making engravings on the back of the watch and this one here has uh, Okeanos uh, basically uh, a Roman god and he has a trident and I found that just to be the coolest thing ever and um, on the little dial here you have the trident as well and again these are engraved and you wouldn't really see another like watch at this price point uh, with these kind of engravings uh, they look really good and I think that's something that really distinguishes them from others another feature that I really like is the fact that the bezel actually moves uh, I've had other watches that are more expensive than this one and the bezel does not move fossil <laughs> the face of the watch doesn't really have a lot it's very simplistic and there are only two hands the two hands also light up in the dark so that's 
actually a plus two. All right, so overall, this is a very attractive watch. I really like it. I think that for the price point, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Now, because of that price point though, you are basically missing out on some really good features that you would find on an actual luxury timepiece, uh, such as movement. I would like to see them do like an automatic movement. Really below already watches, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. If you do pick some up, make sure you use my code IVAN15 to get that 15% off. I would also like to see exactly what watch you get, so leave that down in the comments too. If you like this video, go ahead and give it one of these down below. It definitely supports the channel and also helps me figure out what kind of videos you guys want to see next. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification to receive notifications every time I post a new video as well. I appreciate you guys' this time and as always, style up. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you haven't joined La Familia yet, go ahead and hit the button up there. And I have another recommended video for you right over there. And as always, style up.